Hey guys, uh, welcome to another random roguelike. This time we're doing Brogue, which is, well, it's basically Rogue, but it's a little more user-friendly, it's got more colors, it's a bit less, um, I guess, structured, in that the environments are more open and they feel a little more natural. Uh, actually, this is the, I like this game a little more than Rogue, honestly, well a lot more than Rogue, it's kind of the one I've played a lot more, if you can see about my high scores. I have played this a lot, but never really gotten past the seventh floor because I'm stupid, but let's just start up. And yeah, water, that's another thing this game kind of added. Uh, this game does have mouse functionality, but it works a little weird because like, it kind of sticks. Uh, it also has an explore function where basically he'll automatically move around until he sees something. All of the uh, keys and stuff are right on the screen and you've got more of a heads-up display with your enemy stuff information about it like how you can defeat it and stuff like that so let's just do this on our own pace I like exploring which is probably why I die a lot to be honest oh there's some gold right there and yeah another issue with the mouse controls is that the game will always have like a path showing you where you can go if you click the mouse so you can't really get rid of that until you find the spot where the mouse is and touch it but sometimes you won't okay jackals found a potion a lot of enemies over here jeez ah oh, they're not done yet oh there's a staircase too as you can see yeah this is a lot more uh well beautiful i guess colorful is a better word than beautiful we just got a sword. We don't have the strength for it though. We've got some incendiary darts. I'm gonna rest. Until healed. There we go. There's actually a rest button that I know of. There wasn't one in Rogue. <laughs> I mean, I just didn't know the controls though, honestly. There is a rat. And Warhammer, again, I don't have the strength for it. This, uh, yeah, another issue is you can't really see with the thing. So there's, like, explosive gas in the air. If we had a fire potion or maybe even if we threw the incendiary darts, the gas would explode. But see this right here? This is a wooden barricade, the little pound sign, so we can throw one of these incendiary darts and burn it up. Oh, oh, oh don't want to touch the flames, though. Oh, God, that's grass. No. Wait for the fire to... There we go. And this is a treasure room? It's got, it's a room full of treasure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's usually a bunch of rings, a bunch of armor, some charms. We don't have the strength for most of the rings, and we don't have a friendly person for the one of empowerment. So I'm either going to get the uh, regeneration or transference. Regeneration makes my health go up faster. Transference makes me steal health when I attack but it doesn't heal as much I think so I'm gonna go with the regeneration ring and I'm gonna equip it and I'm gonna have to test this potion out because it's just gonna bug me if I don't or both of these potions I mean okay wait I'm just gonna show you this is the uh, little info screen thing of everything there are literally just as many negative potions as there are positives. There are more positive stats than negative stats. Scrolls only have two negative effects. Um, so, I mean, after the first potion, you're more likely to... No, oh, that was a potion of strength. Cool. And what was the H? Incineration! But we... Oh, gosh. Alright, explosive gas. <laughs> okay, cool. Didn't get hurt too much except for the explosive gas but see this little plant right here it's a blood it's a blood wart stock and if you break the spores it lets out some sort of weird healing gas which is great if you want to you know heal so let's head to the exits another thing that's nice about this game compared to the original rogue is you can actually keep going up and down stairs regardless oh hey there's a pitfall trap thing and a sleeping jackal but I'm gonna check out this room with a little gold 99 pieces Wow 
great potion. Yep, Jackal saw me. They like to swarm, and we got a scroll just now, so I'm gonna give it a read. And it was a scroll of aggravate monsters, one of the only two negative effect scrolls in the game. Good job, me. Whoa, I fell through a hole in the ground. And another scroll, and hopefully this won't be negative. Yep, scroll of mapping. I guess it's good that I fell down the hole because I just aggravated all the monsters on the previous floor. <laughs> and there's a monkey in a cage right now. Well, he's chained to the ground, technically. I died. I wasn't paying attention to when I started either, so... Okay, death is taking forever to creep up. There we go. Not, not saving that recording, and we didn't do very well. Let's do that again. Again, this is a very simple roguelike. No fancy quests or anything. But we will be tackling the nicer, bigger, more expansive ones in the future. You know, when I upload these, which is kind of going to be sporadic. This map looks a lot like the previous map. Huh. Weird. Okay, and... Door. Nothing? Oh, there's a potion. I wonder what the potion is this time, because the colors randomize every time, which I kind of forgot to say last time. Like, a blue potion in one game won't have the same effect as a blue potion in another. And... So for all I know, I'm already carrying a potion of incineration. Which would suck. To be honest. And there's a wand. A nickel wand. I'm gonna have to test that eventually. Got a thing of food. And there's a scroll on the other side of this. Let's just go ahead and test that right now. Scroll of enchantment? I'm gonna enchant the darts. Because I like enchanting darts. Because I actually use them when... Monkeys come around. Enemy monkeys, at least, not friendlies. And there's a potion, actually. This is actually a really nice room to test potions in. Well, kind of. I mean, the uh, door is kind of grassy, but it's... Blue potion is... Oh, creeping death. Getting out of here. Nope. <laughs> creeping death potions are not good. Oh, there's a room we didn't explore, actually. It's not very big. Turquoise levitation. Okay, let's head out to the downstairs. You can't walk. You can't float on water, kobold. Ah. Okay. And there isn't. You can never not reach the exit in this game. If you try swimming, though, you, your equipment will fall out of your pocket, so you don't want to swim very much. You can walk on the coasty bits, but it's not a good idea to, you know explore in the water unless you have like a levitation potion like I just did and in later floors there will be uh, lava and stuff like that so you gotta be on the lookout for that too now I should have mentioned the potion of creeping death that I kind of opened up last time it just kind of fills a bunch of poison tendrils into the room and there is a staff on the other side of this little embankment thing I'm gonna hope I don't run into any eels because they are really powerful Oh, there's another coat monkey all chained up and stuff. And another thing is under the uh, health, nutrition, and armor, there's a stealth range thing. If I hit, I think it's the, uh, yeah, that key. I get a little red ring, and anything outside of the red ring cannot see me. If I rest, then the ring gets smaller because I'm staying still. And my phone just went off. <laughs> okay. Turn that off, because I need to like to see. And this monkey that's chained up, I can free it, and it will be an ally. I'm gonna rest for a second until I heal, though, because we both could use that. Um, it's just gonna follow me around and attack enemies for me until it dies, and it will die as much as I would like that not to happen. I could use the blood wart stocks too to heal him, which is nice. And if I find a wand of empowerment, that means I could use that to help him out too. There is a weapon here. Oh, what happened? There's an eel. See, eels suck. <laughs> uh, 
So I have a few scrolls in my test. Scroll of teleportation. Oh, I gotta find my monkey now. But I also have a rat invisible somewhere. I can't tell where. I'm gonna... If I hover over this, it should tell me. Yep, right over there. I should be able to hit him with my staff. It's a random... It's a wand... It's a staff of entrancement, which is nice. Mm. And I found my monkey. It's got low health, though, so I'm gonna... Go back to that blood wart and stock thing and heal him up because, you know, as much as I don't want him to die, I also don't want him to... Well, I mean, I, as much as I know he's going to die, I want to prevent that as well as I can, so... Yeah. Ah, I gotta not touch eels at all. Just just best way to avoid it. And, oh gosh. I'm gonna hit him with... Alright, it's this potion of... Oh, what the hell is the centipede doing? It's like... Ugh, three hits to kill. I'm gonna hit him again with that. Hopefully it won't change him into something more dangerous. Oh god, that's an underworm? No! And that's a vampire bat. My strength is down to two. That's not good. That's... Read a scroll. Protect armor, that's nice, I guess. Identify the indigo potion. Invisibility is also good. I can't tell if my monkey's dead, or if he just, like... Oh, gosh. Um, let's try the entrancement on it. I'm gonna die. Yep, killed by a vampire bat. 